Hi everybody, today we're going to be looking at how to wire up a UK 13 amp 3 pin plug. I've actually been asked by a few of you to do this as a bit of a back to basics uh, for some electrical procedures, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to look at how we can wire up this UK 13 amp uh, 3 pin plug and do it safely and do it properly. So just a quick overview of the plug itself. You've got three pins. This top one here, which is slightly longer, if you look here, is the earth pin. That's slightly longer because as you push it into the receptacle, it opens up two little covers for the live and neutral. So this one here on the left is the live pin and the one on the right is the neutral. Uh, so let's go ahead and open that up and see what we got inside. So just a, uh, Phillips screwdriver will do that. So if we open up inside, we can see the fuse. This is a 13 amp fuse. So this is the 13 amp uh, termination point. The top one here is the earth and this one here on the left is the neutral. And actually, I don't know if it focused, but if you could look inside, they're actually labeled neutral earth at the top. And then there's a live label just in there. This bit here is the mechanical grip. So on the cable this is typical cable on the outside this black sheath is actually mechanical protection and then the three cores inside each have their own electrical insulation so this clamp will mechanically hold it secure into the plug and stop any stop any tugging on the electrical uh, conductors that's one thing you really do need to avoid so we'll go through doing that i'm going to try and do this with the least amount of tools possible so you're going to need a screwdriver or two phillips and a flathead most probably uh, some wire strippers i've got some old ones here uh, some wire cutters and stanley knife or craft craft knife so that's all you need to do so the first thing we need to do is to strip back the flex to reveal uh, the conductors so you can do that with a professional stripper um, but I want to try and keep this simple so I'm going to use a craft knife because I think more people have got a craft knife than they have uh, professional strippers so what you want to do is just hold this between your finger and thumb and push it just enough to score the PVC flex here but not to go through and cut or mark the electrical conductor. So all you need to do is just push that gently and then hold the knife steel and then just slowly rotate the cable around until you come back on yourself like that. And then if you just push that, you can see there that's broken the PVC. So nice and simple. And then once you've done that, you can just pull that off. So let's just do that. So once that off, you can see the three conductors here. I'm in the UK, so brown is live, blue is neutral, and the yellow and green is earth. Now I've stripped off probably about 50, 60 mil there, which is more than I need. So it's important you have more to start with. And then what we need to do is cut these cables to the right lengths to go into each of these termination points importantly leaving a little bit extra so there's no mechanical strain on these conductors now when you get a plug uh, socket from you a plug from you you quite often get these drawings to show you the termination layout for live neutral and earth but also the length so you can see here for the live wire it says 12 millimeters and then a further six millimeters of bared uh, copper flex then the neutral 22 millimeters and then you can see on that tab there uh, let me just scroll that down there it says another six millimeters and then the earth is 32 millimeters so if you've got this with your socket you could simply just use a tape measure measure each of those flexes and cut to length so i'm just going to assume we haven't got that so i'll show you how to do this from scratch so the first one i like to do is the live so if you just hold that in so that you've got the PVC outer goes beyond the mechanical grip and then you need enough flex to get that brown cable into the live. So what you could do, I'll just do this for the purpose of this, but you could use a pen and then if you just mark here the length which is the entrance and then another six mil, then all you need to do, cut it to length on that furthest point and then you can use your strippers there 
to go from that first point. So if you pull that off, give it a little twist just to keep all the copper flexes together there, keeps it nice and neat. So if we go back and see what that looks like, you can see that that will be long enough to get that into this um, brass termination point for the live connector. Then we want to do the same uh, for neutral. So just bend that round there to make sure you're going to leave enough leave enough flex there and then get your pen just mark on the two the two marks there and then again take that off cut that furthest point now rather than use the strippers if you haven't got strippers you can still use your pliers just need to be a little bit gentle so what you can do get your pliers put it onto the mark you've made with the pen. Just push that firmly, but not too much, just so that it's gripped the outer sheath, and then just pull away. And again, you've got the same result there. And again, just twist round those braids to keep them all nice and neat. Then the last one, same process for the earth. So again, just place that again, then root round your earth. Leave yourself a little bit of flex on there. And then again, just holding that still spit fiddly. And just mark that two marks again there. Then just cut that to length with your mark that's furthest away. I'll use the strippers again this time just to pull that off. And then you've got your three pieces of cable. So once they're done, the next thing to do is to put this in. Now you can take these individual pins out if you want to. They do come out. So you could actually wire them in and then push them back each time like we do here. So that's what I'm going to do. So first of all, let's take out the, the, the live. Here we go. So you can take this out and you can see there's a little screw there. And let's get that in focus. And then inside that was this where you're going to clamp the... Uh, copper strands. So the first thing you want to do is get your screwdriver and just undo that so that you slide in. So if you can see that there, just leaves a little bit of a gap. Then get the live, which is brown for the UK. Push that in. And you want to make sure that the brown flex goes up to the edge of the terminal there. You don't want any copper flex to be showing because that's a that's an electrical shock hazard. So that's nice and neatly in. Get your screwdriver and just grip that up. There we go, nice and tight. And then what we can do, just make sure these flexes are nicely twisted around. Then the next thing we can do if you want to, you can take out the earth pin and again, Loosen up the terminal there so that we can get the cable in. You can see that there. And put the earth cable in. Again, making sure the PVC goes right up to the edge there so there's no bare copper exposed. And then just tighten that up again. Screwdriver. And then the last one, take the earth terminal out. And again, loosen up the screw. Back to our cables here. We go, just slide the blue in. Make sure the PVC is right up to the edge, same as before. Tighten up the screw. So they're all done. Next thing we want to do is just reduce this, um, release this mechanical clamp. So the screws for this on the other side, what I like to do with this is just release one. So undo one, take that screw out, and then the other one, if you just back that off a little bit. So that's backed off. And then you can lay your cables in now. So nice and simply, just slot them back in the hole. So no particular order. Do the neutral. Then the earth slides in. And then we can put the 
the live one back in. Let's just take the fuse out for a second. So the live's gone in there. Fiddly. There we go. So then you can put the fuse back in. And then just you want to make sure your cables are nice and neatly rooted in there. So one of the things that I was always taught when I was younger is you want to leave the earth cable with plenty of slack on it. And then so if there's any mechanical tugging on here, if you trip over the flex, the very last cable that would get yanked out would be the earth. So that's making sure that the appliance is still earthed even if these cables come out. So the next thing then is to put the mechanical clamp on. So just pull over um, the, the little mechanical clamp, turn everything upside down again, get the screw we took out earlier. So then just tighten both of these down here. Just want it to be nice and firm. So when you look over here now, when I pull on the black flex, Really, it's not going anywhere and it's not pulling on the electrical conductors, which is the most important part. So all that remains is to get the cover, put that back on top and finally just screw top down. So that's it. Just takes a couple of minutes. The flex is in nice and securely. No copper showing inside, which is really important. So always make sure that those um, PVC uh, insulators are up close to each of the pins inside and you've got the mechanical clamp on and that makes for a nice safe and well terminated plug. I hope that helps. Is there, if there's any other electrical things you'd like me to take a look at just leave a comment uh, below and uh, I'll see if I can get around to it. Take care everybody and uh, I'll see you in the next video.